this video, we'll show how to make epic accessories quickly and easily. Our today's tutorial is about how to make a Darth Vader paper mache mask, the main Star Wars villain of all time. We need plasticine for making a mask model, protective covering for the plasticine and modeling tools, a large water bottle for the mask hull, cut off the top of the water bottle to make working with it easier. Have a picture of the character at hand to keep your eye on the details. Smooth the upper part to make it rounder. Warm up the plasticine with your hands until it is soft and pliable. Put more clay on the upper part to make a helmet. Then form the forehead part. Mark approximate borders of the mask. Continue forming the upper and forehead parts. Be careful and make the forehead part just under half an inch smaller than the face part. Now form the eyebrows. Mark roughly where the side parts of the helmet and face will be. Smooth the plasticine forming a Darth Vader helmet. Compare to the picture. Add more clay if necessary. Continue smoothing. Mark the center of the helmet. Make the eyebrows more expressive. Smooth the plasticine, shaping the eye areas. Form the eyes from thinly rolled out clay pieces. Use a spatula to form squares. Smooth the plasticine. Now form Vader's nose. Form it in this way. Take more plasticine and continue forming a lower face part. Press in the tip of the nose. Then form the mouth triangle part. Prepare the surface. Use more clay. Attach the side parts. Connect the added elements, smoothing the plasticine from the outer side and the inside. Add more modeling material to the lower part. Form a flat piece at an angle. Done! Now make small cuts while comparing to the picture. Start making cheekbones and form more flat pieces. Be careful with their shape. Continue on the same way from the other side. Now form the details. Make two strips lower than the cheekbones. And now the under part. Make it the same on the other side. Keep in mind the symmetry. Attach a triangle element to the jaw. Add more plasticine and form the under part of the Darth Vader mask. Scratch out any extra lines. Smooth the model. Continue shaping. Proceed the same way from the other side. Trim the edges evenly. Add a strip to the center of the helmet. Trim carefully. Smooth and trim all the flats and corners. The finishing touch. Make strips on the bridge. Now we'll need a fatty cream for the next step. Cover the whole surface of the model. Prepare a bowl of water and torn pieces of paper. You can use newspaper. Add water to the paper. And glue. This is the first coating. Use small pieces for the minor details. Add another coat using white glue. We need a soft synthetic brush. Now we need paper of another color. In this case, we've chosen napkins. So now we will alternate newspaper and napkin layers. Add two more layers and let them dry for 10 to 15 hours. Then cover the mask with two to three more coats and wait until they're dry. Now that the paper mache mask has dried, use a water-based paint for the ground coating. Make a thin cover. The paint will be dry in about one and a half hours. Use a craft knife. Cut out the mask. Take away the plasticine from the side parts. Use scissors to cut the plastic element. Now take away the plasticine. The paper mache mask is ready. Add another coat of paint. Wait an hour until it's dry. Add a ground coating to the inner side of the mask. 
Smooth the mask with sandpaper after drying. Cover with black acrylic paint. Paint the inside as well. Acrylic paint will dry quickly. Now cover with a lacquer. Usual lacquer thinner will dry in a bit more than 24 hours. Attach the accessories after drying. Secure screw nuts with glue for the metal. Cut out a semicircle shaping the nose from foil. Glue it as well. Now we need any black sunglasses. Cut out the eye area using a craft knife. Cover the cut edges with black enamel paint. Add glue to the edges. And now attach the sunglasses. Done! An intimidating Darth Vader helmet will make you a star of any costume party. It may also become a perfect gift for a fan of the legendary Star Wars saga. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a cute decorative paper mache mask. We'll need plasticine, a spatula, and any round container resembling a head shape. Start with sculpting the face. Divide a piece of plasticine in half to make the eyebrows. Knead the plasticine. It will become soft and pliable by warming up. Attach the forehead part first. Then the eyebrows. And the cheekbones to shape the mask from the bottom. Make the nose. Sculpt the small triangle and put it in the center. Roll up two balls for the eyes. Add the plasticine to the cheekbones and smooth the parts joining them together in this way. Thin out the nose to make it delicate. Press down at the eye level to form a curve. Smooth down up to the tip and press over. Continue smoothing. Keep in mind the symmetry. Add some plasticine to the eyebrows, smoothing upwards and between the eyes and the nose to form a thin bridge. Note the angle we've got. It consists of the upper and lower planes to converge at one point. Try to repeat for the other side. Continue perfecting the nose. Smooth the cheekbones and other parts. Keep in mind the nose wings. Make them from two oblong plasticine pieces smoothing carefully for a proper shape. Add some plasticine to the forehead part joining to the eyes and nose. Make an imaginary line along the eyes and nose using a spatula. This will help reveal the inaccuracies in the symmetry. We'll need Vaseline or any fatty cream for the next step. Spread it out carefully so we can take the mask off the mold easily later on. We'll need some water to soak the first paper layer. Use plain paper. Note, the pieces should not be cut but torn out for a better attachment. Don't use big pieces as it may cause mask deformation. Apply further coats using white glue. Choose a thin paper, napkins in this case, as they fit well for the paper mache. So alternate the newspaper and napkin layers. Pour some glue into a cup. Cover the mask using a brush. Attach the napkins. You may use big pieces this time. There should be five to six layers in total. 
Let the mask dry for 10 to 12 hours afterwards. The mask is dry. Cut it out and remove from the model using a craft knife. Take water-based paint for a ground coat. Cover it with a thick layer. Paint the inner side of the mask after drying. Let it dry for 15 minutes. Smooth with fine sandpaper. Start painting. Choose flesh color gouache and pearl acrylic paint. Mix it to get a subtle golden shade. Keep in mind to make the eye areas the lightest and the upper eyelids and bridge deepening the darkest. It will make the mask more expressive. The next step is decoration. Take lace and ribbons of a delicate shade. This element will add an ethnic touch to the mask. Use the lace for the underside. Attach two of the same pieces using a hot glue gun. Tie a bow. We've chosen natural decorations for the band. You can find them when walking in the park. Hot glue them together. Repeat for the other end. Attach the band carefully to the mask. Add a finishing touch. Attach the ribbon to the bow and attach it to the edges on the back. The mask is ready. This gorgeous decorative face mask will add a magic touch to your interior. Our today's tutorial is about how to make the Venetian mask with a long beak. Prepare a big bowl to make paper mache. Take paper napkins. Tear them into pieces. Pour a cup of hot water. Mix until dissolved, adding water or napkins if needed. You'll get a peanut-like consistency. Wring it out. Pour in white glue. Mix well. The paper mache pulp is soft and pliable. We'll use a large water bottle for a mask hull. We need plasticine and tools for making a mask model. Warm up the plasticine with hands until soft and pliable. Mark the width of the face from the temple parts with the tape splitting the mask in half. Make a cross with the tape by marking an imaginary line from the hairline up to the nose tip. Start with the forehead part. Place the plasticine onto the hull. Smooth and even the edges. Make the nose part by forming a sharp edge bridge. Add more plasticine to get a long beak. Smooth and even the edges. Keep in mind the symmetry. Make the cheekbones. Add some plasticine to make them more expressive.
Start forming the eyes. Smooth shaping the eyebrows. Add some plasticine to the bridge. This will make the look ominous and grim. Smooth, defining the eyebrows to make the eyes more expressive. Now form the eyelids. Start with the upper eyelid by attaching this piece of the plasticine. Then press down the eye area by removing the excess plasticine with a round-ended knife. Deepen the surface in the corner between the eyelid and the bridge. Repeat for the other side. Attach the lower eyelid. Smooth with the knife to shape and divide into planes. Correct the eye shape by removing the excess plasticine. Keep in mind the plain combination. Make them a bit angular. Repeat for the other side. The plasticine mask model is ready. Let's follow the next step. Attach the paper mache shaping the model. Use a spatula to flatten the places you can't smooth with your hands. Define the thin details. Cover the whole surface smoothing the pulp. Done! Now it will need about two days for the mask to dry. Keep it away from the heaters as the plasticine model can melt and the mask will deform. Sand the mask after drying to smooth the surface. Use a water-based latex paint for the ground coat. Apply the first layer. Sand again when dry. Add several more paint coats. Smooth each layer with the sandpaper. Pull the model mold from the bottle using the knife. Carefully remove the plasticine from the mask. Done! Trim the edges of the eye holes using a craft knife. Trim the mask edges. Sand again. Draw a small circle in the temple part and pierce a hole with a broad awl or other proper tool. Repeat for the other side. Cover the inner surface with the ground coat. We have chosen dark brown, yellow, orange, and ochre colors. Choose acrylic paints or gouache for a matte effect. Paint the mask brown. Add some yellow and ochre strokes. The basic color is brown. Other shades complement it. You may add some dark red or purple to make it brighter. For the expressive outlook, make the deep areas darker. and the protruding parts lighter. Distress the mask using a dry brush. Make several sharp strokes in one direction. Use a little white paint for the lightest areas, and voila! Now pass the string through the holes. Tie knots. Cut off the excess. The original Plague Doctor hand mask will make you enigmatic at a fancy dress party. Today, we'll show you how to craft a paper mache mask. The character is Kylo Ren, the villain of the seventh episode of Star Wars. Take a large bowl, use soft paper that can be torn easily and is water soluble. Napkins and newspapers will work well. We need short strips. Pour hot water. Mix thoroughly. Add some more paper. Mix until it is dissolved. 
The mixture should resemble batter. Squeeze out water. The base for the paste is done. Blend it and pour Elmer's glue. Mix. The paper mache paste is ready. Use a large water bottle as a mask hull. Cut out the top using craft knife and scissors. We need a Kylo picture printout. Make a mask model using plasticine. Put plasticine onto the bottle and smooth it. Start with a forehead and continue forming the face. Leave eye space. It's a bit higher in the middle. Compare to the picture. Hitch to the forehead part. Form the central part of the mask. Take more plasticine, as this part is the most volumetric. Now the cheekbones. Compare their shape to the picture. Add more modeling material. There should be a slight buckle in a temporal part. Do the same from the other side. Keep in mind the symmetry. Form the jaw outline. Do the same from the other side. Define the sharp mask edge using craft knife. Add the lower part. Form it this way. Cut out plasticine from both sides to make the front side rectangular in shape. Form additional elements. And a finishing touch. Done! Now add paper mache paste. Distribute evenly and smooth over the entire surface. Make shallow cuts using craft knife. We're defining mask details. Paper mache mask making is completed. Now it should dry. Keep the mask away from radiators or other heaters to avoid melting of the plasticine model. The mask should dry for two days at room temperature. After drying, smooth all bumps and wrinkles with sandpaper. Separate the model from the mask using craft knife. Be careful! Now remove plasticine from the mask. Trim the edges. You may use water-based paint as a ground coating. Cover the whole surface of the paper mache mask. The paint is dry in 15 to 20 minutes. Cover the inner side of the mask. We need silver color spray. Cover the front side of the mask. The paint dries for an hour. Now cover the Kylo Ren mask with black enamel paint. If you want low gloss finish, use acrylic paint. To define additional elements, take a small brush. Make lines around the eyes and across the forehead. Add some lines on the cheekbones, compared to the picture, and from both sides. Now wait till paint is dry. The dark hero of the Star Wars Kylo Ren mask is ready. It'll become a perfect handmade gift for a legendary Fantastic Saga fan. Our today's tutorial is about how to make the Bounty Hunter Boba Fett paper mache mask. We'll use a large water bottle for a mask framework. Warm up the plasticine with your hands until soft and pliable. Start with the forehead part. Put the plasticine onto the bottle to make the helmet's round shape. Smooth, adding the plasticine to fit your head size. Continue shaping the helmet. Start making the facial part. It should be a bit wider. Gradually add the plasticine to increase the helmet's circumference. Trim the low part. The facial part is ready. It should be a bit longer. Add the plasticine to the back. Score a line to divide the facial part in half. Mark the eye level. Be careful to make the ends at the same length from the central line. Cut out the visor area. The horizontal part first. 
then the vertical part. Remove the excess plasticine. Done! Deepen the surface at the cheekbone area. Make a vertical cut up to the bottom. Add a round cut along the visor. The cut should be relatively deep. It will let you press down the inner part easily. Deepen the area at this angle. Smooth the surface adding the plasticine if needed to make an even border between the planes. Repeat for the other side. Trim the bottom to complete the model. Let's make the paper mache clay. Tear paper napkins into pieces. Pour a cup of hot water. Mix until dissolved. You'll get a peanut consistency pulp. Wring it out. Pour thoroughly with white glue. Mix well. Smudge out the model with a fatty cream to separate the mask easily from the plasticine upon drying. The paper mache clay is soft and pliable. Apply a smooth coat of the clay to follow the model shape. Soak your fingers in water. Smooth the helmet. It will take at least five days for the mask to dry. If you take it off the model earlier, it can deform. Sand the mask smooth when dry. Cut out the plastic bottle. Take the plasticine off the mask. To make the helmet smooth, cover it with acrylic wooden putty using a tough brush or a spatula. Let it dry for four to five hours, then sand all over. Done! We'll use green acrylic paint. You can choose any shade of green from cool bluish to warm olive. Paint the whole surface. Make the helmet details from the foam plastic. Cut out a small square using a craft knife. Divide it in half. Make the upper part round. Cut it out. Make these details from the second half. Cut out the rangefinder stalk. Add this protruding part. Attach the details with multi-purpose glue. Done! Paint it green. Attach to the right side of the helmet. Even the seams with the putty. Smooth with a silicone spatula. Sand it when dry. Paint the helmet again. Cut out the visor area from the thick paper or cardboard and paint it red. Use gouache or acrylic paint. Attach to its place with white or multi-purpose glue when dry. Press over to glue well. Paint the inner edges. Cover the attached detail with yellow or ochre color. 
Leave the inner part green. Draw small strips in the upper left part of the mask. Paint them yellow. Cover the rangefinder stock with white or silver color. Paint the rangefinder top black. We'll need two metal thumbtacks. Attach one near the visor. Add the other to the rangefinder. Scratch the mask with any sharp tool to match the specific helmet used on set. Draw the weathering with a silver marker to create aluminum scratches. Add a bit of white paint with a sponge onto the red visor part. Weather with a silver marker. Add metal scratches to the attached side details. We need a dark plastic bottle for a finishing touch. Measure the visor. Cut out a T-shaped detail to cover the visor area. Attach from inside with multi-purpose glue. Let's look at the mask we have created. Cool! The cult Boba Fett paper mache helmet from the legendary Star Wars saga is ready in all its glory. Feel free to comment and share with your friends. Join us on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. Subscribe to our channel and be the first to see the latest uploaded tutorials with original themed party and fancy dress ideas.